Ah, some classic Thomas Heaton. Fantastic. Do some landscape photography. Oh, message. Here's a sprung. Carbon fiber. Don't recognize the number. Thomas Heaton. Okay, okay, so a bit of fun at the start of the video there, and it didn't take 18 months for a good weather window to appear in Scotland. In fact, in a very short space of time, probably under a month, there was glorious weather all across Scotland. So, yeah, I was headed up to Applecross, and I was really excited that uh, Thomas had uh, touched base with me, and, uh, you know, one, his channel is one of my favourite uh, channels on YouTube, probably the favourite one. Um, anyway, proved to be a bit of a pondry. I thought, where can I take Thomas, which is going to be good? And the week before, I'd been up in Applecross on a relatively unknown mountain. And given that it was a bank holiday weekend, I thought, I'll take Thomas here and hopefully it'll be quiet and we can get some spectacular shots. So here I am again. <laughs> I was here literally one week ago and I'm at the bottom of the Bielach Nava road and um, it is warmer. The weather when I came up here last week was superb but today it is 26 degrees. I've just literally smothered myself in uh, sun cream which is the first time this year. So 26 degrees and I'm just uh, waiting here. Um, Tom got in touch with me about a month ago and uh, asked if he uh, could come up a mountain and do a summit camp and we could go out together and, and, and have an adventure and uh, when I went up this hill I thought this would be perfect for uh, for Mr Heaton so hopefully he likes it and um, hopefully we have an adventure we're going to spend two nights in the mountain uh, first night we're going to walk into that walk in which just the scenery is unbelievable and then uh, tomorrow we'll walk up onto the ridge and find a high high camp up there with the views out to the uh, out to sky and the uh, the mountains round about there. So really, really looking forward to this, especially with this sort of weather. Just hoping the midges stay away. <laughs> so Thomas arrived not long after I pulled up at uh, Applecross. He'd had a rather longer journey than myself. He'd been in Wales and uh, driven up via the Lake District the night before, so um, it must have been quite tiring for him to, to hike straight off after uh, a mammoth drive. But we, we headed off and we were aiming to to reach a, a wild loch in, uh, high in the mountainside to do a wild camp. The weather was glorious. In fact, it was almost too warm. We've got up a different path this time to the one I came up a few weeks ago and uh, it's possibly a bit better than the, uh, well, the pathless path that I came up with. So we're going to stop for a wee break here. Thomas is setting up for uh, B footage for his movie so uh, yeah, take a wee break. There's a welcome breeze and we're not far from our intended camp spot so let's see how we go. Before long we'd reached the lock-in and uh, it was, as I said, it was really warm and I was pretty relieved to see that beach. I'd, when I'd seen it the first time the week before I thought this is just asking for a wild camp and uh, yeah I was delighted to see it with, uh, with those big packs we had on. And when we reached the beach there was only one thing for it. We both took off our boots, rolled up our trousers and uh, had a wee paddle in the lock-in to cool off. It was glorious.
Having enjoyed our uh, paddle, it was now time we, we had to get the tents up and uh, the beach was lovely. It felt like, a, felt like a seaside beach. The sand was fine. You know, the water was actually quite warm in the uh, in the Lochan as well, but we were high in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. It was it was an idyllic an idyllic spot. So we got the tents up, and then uh, I had a I had a wee plan to uh, to cool off even further. I got my dad shorts on, I'd come prepared and I thought I'm going to go for a wee dupe. The paddle would uh, entice me into the water so I uh, got the swim shorts on and had a wee swim. It was actually quite warm, it was really pleasant, absolutely lovely and uh, really really refreshing. Well, that's my annual uh, wild swimming dip for the year done. <laughs> actually quite warm, it's not too bad, but what a place, look at this. Those quarries are just fantastic. And not a bad, uh, not a bad place to, to spend the night really before heading on tomorrow. What do you think, Tom? Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm a bit jealous of your swim. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I think I'll be staying dry. Never brought his uh, swimming trunks with him. Shocking. <laughs> anyway. Aye, going to dry off now in the sun and uh, get tea on. So just as we made tea, the winds dropped and that meant one thing, the midge came out and they were uh, they were out in their swarms. But to be honest with you, the uh, the midge or smidge and insect repellent we had on seemed to do its job and we uh, they soon disappeared again and we were enjoying the views and really just uh, just taking it all in. You know, a private beach to ourselves in the middle of the mountains and just fabulous vistas all around. So we're about an hour away from uh, sunset and uh, we've had our tea and we're just away to scope out a couple of these wee peaks up behind us to see if there's any uh, any nice landscapes where we can get some uh, some nice shots of the sky it does anything tonight but there's a lot of wildfire and there's a lot of smoke um, so obviously it has been dry for quite a few weeks and it's caught in places and it's obviously not stopping so we shall see, well, time will tell, so we're going to go for a wee hike and take some photos. So we've come up to a, a wee rising behind the loch and I think we found a photo. Look at that, uh, I was talking about the uh, the heath fires or the moor fires and it's actually creating a lovely line of smoke just in front of the mountains of uh, some of the Torridonian mountains and uh, hopefully if we get some nice pink colours in a wee while we'll get some nice shots so uh, I think we're all happy, super, absolutely fantastic, what a place! So it was a waiting game, but it wasn't a bad place to uh, hang around waiting for the, the sun to set and we, we milled around, took some photos and just enjoyed the, enjoyed the views. far from sunset now and uh, okay. it's just fantastic <laughs> unfortunately you can probably see the glowing over my shoulder there that's we're going up there to camp tomorrow night so we're really hoping that the same sort of thing happens tomorrow night but our view over here isn't quite happening um, in terms of pinks but we'll still have time yet there's, uh, there's still hope but what a place it's just it's just great to be here our own private beach viewpoint walking and it's warm it's really warm it's absolutely 
I've just got a t-shirt on and it's um, I'm not cold and we're nearly at 10 o'clock at night so uh, yeah fingers crossed for a good shot So after the sun had set and dusk was setting in, we just got a five minute spell of these wonderful pink colours above the mountains and took a couple of snaps to, uh, to round off the day. Fantastic. That's it, that's it done. We got a wee three or four minute spell where the clouds turned a nice pink above the Torridon Mountains and uh, yeah, the smell of smoke, there's obviously some serious uh, moor fires going on so I'm <laughs> hoping that uh, we don't encroach in our tent or we might be uh, taking a, a duke in the loch during the night but uh, yeah, we're going to come back up. Uh, sunrise is about half past four so we're going to head back to the tent, maybe have a wee, uh, a wee dram and uh, call it a night, so let's see what tomorrow brings. So we returned to the beach and there was one more thing to do before we hit the hay and that was to enjoy a wee dram. I'd filled my hip flask up and brought some lovely Highland whiskey and we sat on the beach watching the moon rise and had a wee dram before hitting the hay. It was going to be a big long day tomorrow. Bonjour. Yeah. Yeah.